each other. We are like one family. We can actually finish each other's sandwiches. Sentences. What? <laughs> sandwiches. Did you eat my sandwich? Yeah, there was a sandwich in the back and I finished it. It was good. Popular comedy improv troupe in Fort Worth celebrating 20 years of making folks laugh with a show at Bass Performance Hall. They actually let you guys into Bass Hall. One of the I founders know. of Four Day Weekend, Frank Ford. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good morning. Terrific, terrific. Thank you very so much So improv for is here. something that freaks people. We love to see yeah. it, mm -hmm. as long as you don't pick on me in the audience. Right, of course. Yes. Right. But, but it works with people planting the seeds, giving you guys the prompts that you're asking for, yeah, that's right? That's right. Yes, yeah. Our whole show is based on audience suggestions, and then we get suggestions from the audience, and then we make up scenes and songs based on the suggestion we've been doing it for 20 years you've been having you've had moments over those 20 years in which you have yes. died a slow death <laughs> on stage well I will tell you something that here's a funny story uh, we open for other people too one time we had to do a gig where we opened for the Beach Boys for instance and there's a lot of crazy stuff that has happened over the last right. 20 years but this particular uh, in this particular instance we uh, actually had to open up for the Beach Boys we were taken to what we thought was our dressing room, and there was just this incredible spread there. We've oh, got yeah. carrot juice and all of this organic food and drinks. And, and so we helped ourselves to this and, and, and realized that uh, the person came in and said, oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys are, uh, this is the Beach Boys dressing room. You're, you're, you're in the janitor closet down the hallway. So yeah, right. that was a very embarrassing moment over the last 20 years. We're like, oh God, I can't believe we were eating all the now, Beach now, Boys. Uh, some, it depends on the quality of the audience <laughs> that you get though too, because sometimes people think they're, Audience members think they're as funny as you guys. Now that are. is true. Yes. Right. And so they will toss you these prompts. You know you're going to do a skit about the worst job I've ever had. Uh, give me a job. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, or vocation. Well, for me, I, I think one of the most awkward sort of things that happened in a show for me was there was a person who had yelled out a suggestion mm -hmm. and it was sunglasses and I looked over and the person's in the front row and they're wearing sunglasses and of course our show is at night and I see this person they're just sitting back there with uh -oh. sunglasses on and I uh -oh. start going oh look who's too cool for school here with the sunglasses <laughs> at night this whole thing and the person was they reached down and they grabbed their walking stick they were they were blind yeah and so that was an awkward moment right when I was making I was oh god oh god they're just uh, you, person's blind but it totally makes sense now you, yeah you, you shrunk to about <laughs> about that yeah, tall about this tall yeah, yeah. Two uh, feet high there, there there's a a, a risk because you're asking people for these suggestions. Yes. And so you have to stay very current on things. We do. They try to slip in a few <laughs> little suggestive things that might slip past the non-hip, perhaps? Well, yeah, there's a lot of things. Like, you have to know what the nay-nay is. Right. Or the YouTube video where the woman says, ain't nobody got time for that. So all of these sort of memes and things that are popular on the internet you need to know about those things and stay right. current with it. Yeah, because you never know. You have 212 minds out there. They're throwing you suggestions all the time. So right. you never know what you're going to get. And, and tons of, that's the fun of it. That's the fun of it. So, four-day weekend this week, Thursday night, 730 at Bass Performance Hall. We have a link with more information on fox4news.com. Break a leg. Thank you very much. I right. appreciate it.